it up for this young lady to come on because we um, sat down and me and my staff were watching some of her scenes. Not only is she a very beautiful woman, but she is a very talented actress as well and will be dis uh, discovering more about her as we go along in this interview here. She's been in the industry for a year and a half and we're so happy she's here with us tonight and for you to discover right now. Let's put our hands together for this lovely oh. young lady. Oh, thank Ms. you. Chris, how are you, darling? <laughs> I'm good. How, how are you? Are you? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. I'm having such a good time in LA. Did, uh, let's start off and tell everybody what your Twitter is so they can follow you. Yes, so Addis? my name is Addis Fouché. Addis Fouché. My Twitter handle is literally just my name, Addis Fouché, and Instagram and TikTok. Now, we need to spell Addis out so yes. they understand it's two Ds in there. So it's A-D-D-I-S and then F as in Frank, mm -hmm. O-U-C-H-E. That's okay. my whole handle everywhere. Very simple. Now, you have Instagram, too? Yes, same handle, Addis Fouché, and TikTok, Addis Fouché, and, and OnlyFans. Well, <laughs> you have to have TikTok. You have nowadays. to. You have to, mm -hmm. and you have to have tattoos. Do you have tattoos on I you? just have one on my back and one on my foot. See, it's super tiny. It's like just oh, an arrow. Oh, it's, 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 it's hardly any. I know, and the one on my back is my grandmother's signature. That's it. Oh, how wonderful yes. to remember her. Mm -hmm. The last thing she so, told me was, I'll always have your back, and now she does. It's right here. Now, let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, being in the industry for a year and a half, mm -hmm. did you tell your family that you're in this industry now? Everybody in my family knows. In okay. fact, one of my cousins who's in college asked me how to sell feet pics. Um, Whoa. One of my other cousins was like, hey, can you hook me up with one of your industry friends? I want to book her. So wow. my cousins are super supportive, and I have another cousin that listens to all my podcasts that I'm on, so she's probably going to listen to this one as well. Okay. But um, everybody knows, even my grandpa's older sister, and once you tell Auntie June, it's basically on a billboard in Times Square. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, Addis, uh, how about old boyfriends or old girlfriends? Yes, I've actually had multiple exes tell me that multiple people send them my porn and they're like, dude, you fumbled. No way. Multiple, yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? But three of my exes spun the block and came back around last year alone. Three. And I have wow. 16 exes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow to both, right? I mean, you're so young to have 16 exes. Oh, I used to be a massive serial dater. I'm also like an open relationship girly, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my style of dating. Monogamy style. Well, you're just a power sex worker. That is so true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you're doing your own show or you've got a book or something like that coming Both, up? actually. You are? Okay, well, <laughs> tell us about it. So, um, I am working on a nonfiction book about the intersection of sex work, blackness, and substance use. Um, so, I'm totally oh. sober, which is why I'm here drinking this little lychee. Yes, we've They're got lychee. They're so good. They're yeah. like, really good. Cheers. Aren't they good? <laughs> yeah. And we had a big spread tonight. Mm -hmm. I know some of you are foodies like me. Mm -hmm. And you guys, are we on this one now? Okay, we're on this one now. Okay, so um, tonight we had Chinese um, ribs, mm -hmm. and we had chow mein, bok choy, eggplant, mm -hmm. and um, uh, little we got spring lo rolls. Mein. Yeah, Chil and lo mein. some lo mein. Yeah, lo mein. Mm -hmm. And we had oyster shooters, which you tried, and you didn't like it too yes. much. <laughs> but I will try anything. That's my thing. <laughs> That's a loaded question. Oh, it's a loaded yeah. statement, and I mean it. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's get back to this book now. Sure, yes. I mean, because you're really young to mm -hmm. put out a book. Yes, I'm 28 years old. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I actually, on my Instagram story, posted at the end of last year, hey, guys, would anybody like to see me on more podcasts? I would like to do some more in 2024. Name some podcasts that I should be on. And a friend of mine from college that I used to work at the spin studio with, yes, I was a spin instructor. I almost became a soul cycle instructor before I got my job in advertising. And wow. uh, I know I've lived many lives. And she um, DM'd me and said, hi, Addis. I'm actually, uh, I work at CAA, and I would love to, you know, possibly pitch your book. Get out. Mm -hmm. CAA. Yeah, and it just turns out this was that a That is like, by the way, for you people living under a rock, CAA is like the number one mainstream mm -hmm. agency. They have the everybody. World. They have Aerosmith. They have yeah. Beyonce. It's, it, yeah. They have Alesso, everybody. And so, it's yeah, so that's, you know, what we've been working on. So they gave you the idea for the, and they're going to no, handle your No, I had the idea for the book. It's funny okay. because this, this but girl. But they're going to help you publish mm -hmm, this. Mm-hmm. 
Get the fuck out. Yeah, so a friend of mine, she was um, like, you know, I read all of your writing. I've written for Glamour. I've written for Refinery29. I've written for Runner's World. Um, and she was like, I what? read all of your writing, and it's so good. Addis, if you would ever want to publish something, I work in the publishing division. And so we talked about that, and we also talked about me being um, one of their public speaking, um, on their public speaking roster. So that's also in the works, hopefully. So, yeah. And then you're now also in the adult industry and yes, performing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Now, this is another thing that I have said many times before in the show, that you can successfully balance that life <laughs> in between mainstream and adult. Honestly, I think it's kind of essential to balance it, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. Tell us why. I think it's essential because nowadays, with the creation of things like OnlyFans, because anyone can be a porn star, anyone can be a porn star, right? And so you Pretty have people much. who think that if, you know, and this is, you know, within the industry and also outside, if you just, mm -hmm. like, get a BBL and get some lip filler, you can be a porn star. But then if you have nothing <laughs> you to lip say... Filler. Right? If you have nothing to say... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And you see these girls, and they look like big, big mouth bass. Have you ever kissed someone with lip filler? It feels like you're kissing a Swedish fish candy. It's like, I don't know if I should put myself inside of her or yeah. put a fish hook or give her some, uh, some goldfish flakes. food. <laughs> yeah, give her some goldfish food. Yeah, no, I yeah. mean, also, too, but I think what really is differentiating, you know, porn stars from just, like, a girl who makes porn yeah. is people have something to say, and I've got a lot to say, so. So, obviously, you were a fan of the adult industry before you got in. Yes, I was. What was your favorite movies to watch? Um, I'm a huge Angela White fan, which is so amazing. Isn't she great? She's iconic. Oh, she's, she's so iconic. cool. I've been watching her for so long, and it was crazy to be in the AVN Awards campaign um, that went all over social and the billboards in Las Vegas with her as, like, the newest newcomer on social media. You know, I yeah. was, like, kind of like the Olivia Rodrigo shooting amongst, like, Taylor Swift's and Adele's and Beyonce's. That's how I felt, you know? Wow. So, yeah, it was like, wow, she's got something to say. She's not quite their, their star status, but she can hang with the big dogs. Yeah. So she's really, really cool. And she walked up to me and was like, hi, I'm Angela. And I had a mouthful of food. And I was like, hi, I'm Addis. <laughs> oh, my God. She is such a sweetheart. She's so cool. Now, I think this might Hello. be our special guest. Hi. This lady is the apple of my eye. I absolutely adore her. And she's going to be <laughs> signing with us in Chicago at Exotica, April 12th, 13th, and 14th. She is coming back into the industry now, and she's going to be doing even more than she did before. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the beautiful Miss Ari Parker. Hello, Ari. Oh, my goodness. What an introduction. I know, I right? Feel so, I, I feel like I should curtsy. <laughs> well, over the phone, nobody could tell you're curtsying. Okay, How well, so you know I curtsied twice. <laughs> now, you you took some time off for some personal things, but you are back yeah. now, and you're going to be doing more than your repertoire was before because you did hand jobs, blow jobs, uh, kind of BDSM, you know, belittling guys and stuff like that. Well, so I did a lot of lot of fe fetish work. Fetish, a lot all of fetish over stuff. The, all, all over the board. Mm -hmm. All yeah. over the board with the fetish stuff. Like from hand jobs to swallowing goldfish. What? I was wow. doing all, oh yeah, all of that. Because, because people are into it. You'll be surprised. Like, you'll, there's no telling what people will be turned on by. Okay. Now, Ari Parker, who's on the phone with us right now, said that she did goldfish swallowing porn mm -hmm. I, 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 people actually masturbated to you swallowing a goldfish i believe it well yeah because it goes back to um what is what is it called um oyster shooters <laughs> huh I, I said oyster shooters well no it's like when you um have a fetish where you want to imagine and pretend that, that i could shrink you down and swallow you oh giant oh is that gigantus it? Yeah. yeah 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 you know last yeah. week last week was our fetish show. i can't remember i can't remember the oh vor vor yeah yes yes so yes. god we yes. should have so, had you call in so last when you week so when, when you do when thing. you do vor fetish like i've made out with barbie dolls I've like there's no end to uh, the imagination. Yeah, when it comes I had to a girl who did that, and she was 
starting to masturbate me. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, she pulled up two Bratz dolls and had them riding on my hard shaft. And I go, this is really mm -hmm. weird. But after a while, I was like, it's quite stimulating. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, I mean, but people yeah. are into all of this other stuff. And, I mean, these fetishes yeah. have been around forever. Of course. But and I don't think they they're big because of the Internet now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, say hello to Addis Fauché, Hi, Ari. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. So um, you are coming back. Now you're going to be doing full-on boy-girl scenes, full-on girl-girl scenes, mm -hmm. solo scenes, everything. All the things. All the things. And, I've, um, been, I've, been, I've been cocooning. I've been turning into a butterfly. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Yeah, she was telling me this yes. on the phone earlier. Yeah, she uh, spread her yes, wings. I've been, coco I've been cocooning, and my wings are ready to fly. Yeah. Okay, so when you come out here to L.A., <laughs> um, I'm going to take you over to a tattoo parlor, and I think we should get a uh, little butterfly tattoo <gasps> on you. Something. I'm, all, I'm always down for a new tattoo. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Now, um, um, Ari you Parker... <laughs> um, you will know her also from, um, like, the Nudes of Poppin'. I hosted that one year uh, with mm -hmm. Flavor Flav and a bunch of stars. I was, and, I was uh, Miss Petite that year. That's right. That you were there. I was Miss Petite and Miss All Natural. And then you've won contests at Night Moves in Tampa. You, uh, you've oh, yeah. Won, you've won a lot of, where are some of the other places that you've won the Miss Nude at? Uh, I don't know. I, they're, they're all over. I don't know. Yeah. They're all over. I have, I, I don't know. I just know I keep them on the fridge so that when people come over and they ask what the trophies are for. Oh, my God. So you're, you're <laughs> see, I have my trophies here above on the mantle. I yeah. tell, okay. I tell them this, I tell them this one's for on my left tit fridge. and this one's for like my right tit. Is that like, like she puts in like cereal boxes? She yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Most people put cereal boxes and pots and pans on there. You put your awards you put on there. Pots and pans on the top of your fridge. Oh, they're, I've seen people. Put they're pots and they're pans there on to there. remind. They're there to remind my kids that I that their mother is a winner. Mm. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's smart. Down. That's smart. Now, this is really exciting that you're making this comeback, and I'm so happy to be there with you on this journey because you're going to really be doing a lot of new stuff. But let's tell the fans out there um, some of the more stuff that you're you're planning on doing in your repertoire. Oh, well, I just got to get back online in general. I'm going to start up a new OnlyFans, mm -hmm. maybe Loyal Fans, maybe Snapchat, all the, yeah. all the things. All the things you'll be able to find me. I'll print up some new cards soon. Okay. And then everybody, everything will be right there where you can find me. And we are talking to some agents. So there's some agents right now this week that are looking to represent you right now. There's several now. So it's going to be a bidding yes. war. To see who's going to get so you excited. now, because she is so gorgeous. Now, right now, I if love you're being watching, up, I love being up on the auction block. Right now, <laughs> if you um, want to see her right now, because you haven't got a Twitter, but you do. Um, I don't have anything anymore. I kind don't of have anything. went. I kind of went silent for a couple years. I was incubating humans, right. um, <laughs> but now I am yeah. back. Cocooned, butterflied, <laughs> and she looks and, you know, great. They, by the way, she sent me some and, pictures this afternoon, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I'm walking to the supermarket, and some lady goes, "That man is looking at porn over there in aisle six. And what and are you? Just, I think I'm, I'm looking at. I think I was telling. Of, of course, of course. Just yeah. sure. <laughs> I wasn't masturbating when I was going down the aisle there, but yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I should because I mean, she is just so drop dead gorgeous. She really, really is, and she's so uh -huh. talented. And she's going to be at our booth at Exotica. Um, so probably next week at this time, you'll probably have a Twitter and a new Instagram and everything like that up, and then you could call in and let us know what that is so fans can start following you, yeah? Right. Sounds good. 
Sounds good. Anything you want to tell your fans out there? Oh, just get ready. Ooh. Get ready. Why does that sound yeah. like a threat? Ooh, I like it. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Get ready. Somebody's coming for you. Get, Get ready. ready. Uh -oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's all I could say is I just look at her and I just go, wow. She is so gorgeous. Now, um, for people that want to educate themselves on some of your work, where could they go and look at some of your scenes that you've done before? Some of the companies you worked for. Oh, I honestly, I just tell people the best way to find all of my things is just to Google me, really. Okay. Google her. I just tell people, just Google me. Just put in Ari, Ari Parker. Parker porn. Okay. Just type in porn because there's another somebody called Ari Parker, but she doesn't do porn. Right. So if you type in Ari Parker porn, you'll get linked to all. Or, I'm on Pornhub, all yeah. of the major major sites, XN, XS, X videos. All of, I'm on all of the all my all my stuff is on all of the main sites oh, from. Yeah. yeah. So like the like wherever you like to, porn. Yeah. Um, you can find it if you just Google me. <laughs> yeah, just get yourself a yeah. nice bottle of uh, baby oil or boy butter or something, and then oh, co coconut oil, oil. coconut oil yeah. all day. Or uh, uh, better than that, it's, orga it's use, organic. Use this product here. This is our new sponsor here, yeah. Slickwood. Ooh, can I see? There, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, try that out in your hand there. Yeah, isn't it so? delicious? Let's yeah, see. let's see. Let's do a little bit. Just a little bit of there. Ooh, it's okay. a little bit of Sliquid. Take that back. Oh, this feels amazing. Isn't that nice? Oh, my God. You could put this anywhere. Like, this right? would be good on a nipple. Yeah. Oh. This would be really good on a nipple. Oh. Oh. As Donna Summer said, <laughs> I love to love you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's called Sliquid. Okay. Go and check Liquid. them out. It's a fantastic loop. Yeah. All right. Ari Parker, thank you so much for calling in tonight. We're going to see you. Babe. In four weeks in Chicago, April 12th, 13th, yes. and 14th, she's going to be exclusively at the Inside the Industry booth. So come by and I see her. I can't wait to see everybody. And she's going to be selling 8x10s, and she's going to have panties and bras she's selling, too. That's a big thing. Girls sell their Oh, underwear. it is. I had oh, somebody yeah. on OnlyFans mm -hmm. buy some underwear. And maybe, and, maybe, yeah. and maybe some socks, because I've done a lot of people send, like, my toes. Mm -hmm. Oh, socks. I thought, you said, I, th I thought she said locks. I go, what are you going to make bagels in the booth? Oh, I think like tights would also do very well, too. Like tights, like yeah. stockings. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, you do mm -hmm. have fishnets, right? Oh, yeah. You wear the fishnets and then you put the panties over. So, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there'll be some guy over in the UK and he's like, I'm Lord Butley. And I'm wearing yeah, my, my, my fish net. Exactly. I mean, my fish net to live. Girl. Yeah, they do my, that. Yeah. <laughs> my fish nets live in my butt crack all day, and then you can live vicariously through them when you purchase them at Exotica. Okay, great. Well, thank you. You're our new commercial sponsor. <laughs> BuyAriesPanties.com. Okay. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm sold. I love that. I love you, darling. Thank you for calling in tonight. Okay. All right. Love you. Okay. I Bye. can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I can't and, wait to and see talk you too. maybe next week about um about my new um social media. Yes, call in next week. Life. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. Now, Addis. Yes. Um, why don't you tell us about some of your movies where they could find it? Because I understand yes. that you just shot some new scenes or some new scenes just came out in the last 48 hours. Oh, yes. So oh, I hold on a second. We got another yeah. call? Ooh, yep. Hi. Good. All right. Well, let's take this caller first. All right. Hello. Caller, who's this? Where are you calling from tonight? Hey, James, it's Jason calling from Ohio. Hello, Jason from Ohio. Say hello to the gorgeous, delectable, delicious, mm -hmm. Ooh. enchanting Gosh. Miss Addis Foch. Hi, nice to meet you, Jason. I got a lot of adjectives so to describe beautiful. you. Yeah. Oh, what did he say? You look so beautiful. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jason. He's watching, he's watching the show live. Oh, of course he is. Yeah. I mean, even if he wasn't watching the show live, I'm still beautiful on the Internet. I mean, look at this. And she's wearing sweats. Yes, exactly. Is there anything on it? I yeah. think I have, like, a little bra like that. Oh. 
Am I allowed to put that I out? Love, Oops, sorry. No, that's okay. You that's can. That's okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually a friend designed this. Okay, let's do it again. Yes, yeah, so this is Shock wow. Cherry. Bye bye. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> How'd you like that, Jason? Wow, they look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I did just have some new scenes come out. I shot with Brazzers this past week. Yeah. Shot with Cherry Pimps, did their streammate thing. They said Ooh. it was the most engaging stream that they've had in a really long time. Oh, and they don't say that lightly. No, they, they really don't. They don't give those compliments that lightly. They really don't. They yeah. said a lot of girls will come on and be like kind of deer in headlights. But I just had a scene t come out today with Team Skeet. That's like, there's some anal play in there. It's a little fun. Um, what, is, what is some anal play? It's either in the ass or not. Well, so like I had a butt plug in, but not a dick in. That's oh. why I said some anal play. Ah, so. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. We had to modify it from. Really yes, we had to modify it from an anal scene to a cream pie scene because of some, you know, some. A and did you orgasm in another language? Because she speaks two languages. I do. I speak Mandarin Chinese. Wow. Wow. Ni hao ma. Wo hen hao ni na. Can you? Can you? Oh. Mm. <laughs> could you talk dirty in Chinese? Oh my God! Stop. <laughs> Guy actually I probably won't. could. I probably could actually. Do it. This is the second time I've been asked to do this today. So, talk dirty to okay. Jason in Chinese. Mm. Um. Let's say. What do I want to say to Jason? Jason, okay. have you got the baby oil out? Mm. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna say, okay. Jason, han hao kan wo ai ni. Did you, did you oh, hear that, wow. Jason? Yes, I heard it. I said, it Jason, again. Jason, ni han hao kan wo ai ni. Oh, wow. Is that the sexiest <laughs> thing in the world? <laughs> It's a yeah. beautiful ebony He's girl beautiful. speaking Chinese. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Only on Inside the Industry. Only, only ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I love watching Inside the Industry. Thank you. Thank you. We love you watching us. Now, mm -hmm. Addis wants you to watch these new scenes. Yes, Tell so I just had two new scenes come out today. One mm -hmm. with Team Ski and one with POVR. So one of them Ooh. is a VR. P -O VR. VR. It's virtual reality porn. So when you put on those little Ooh. blue goggles, you can act like you're fucking look at, me. Look at Tim and my crew over there is going like, ooh. Yeah, wow. right? Yeah. Oh my God, it was so fun. And <laughs> even the storyline was good. So I run a few marathons and half marathons. Um, Get, oh, well, that's what you wrote for R Runner's, Runner's Magazine. Run. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, Runner's I actually, World. I ran in college and in high school and middle school. Um, I had the New Balance Scholarship in college, and my mile time in college was a 517. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be running through my mind ah, all night. Of course I will. That part. <laughs> I'm going to be doing laps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I, what was I saying again? Something about... Running. Running. Oh, the, oh yeah. the scenario in scenario. the scene was that I'm a personal <laughs> trainer, and my client and I come back from a run, and then we end up fucking. Ooh, that mm -hmm. sounds hot. Yeah, right? So I'm wow. like, I'm wearing like a little tiny, like, you know, little sports bra that's neon. I have like tiny booty shorts and mm. little sneakers. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I actually, the, po the photo that I posted on my Instagram today is from that scene. So go check out my Instagram, which is just my name, Addis Fouché. Now, have you For done sure. foot stuff? I, have a I do have really cute feet. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, show, I do have really show, cute feet. Take, take off your shoe yeah. and let's show the people. Yes, yes. Because we're talking about feet. fetishes. Yes, yes. This is my foot. So, I have very cute feet. I'm a size seven, just so everybody knows. Can they uh, see that? Uh, Edris, guys, or, can they or, see my foot? Or, or Tim, can you close in on her feet there? Yeah, guys, zoom in on, zoom in on my foot, please. Zoom in. I'm balancing. Zoom in on the foot. That yes. looks beautiful. Right? Look at that. Really Look cute feet. It. Oh my god, yeah. and they're clean, and, they're so clean. Perfect. and they smell good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I want to do <laughs> a toy, toy I, oyster shoots. I know, oh right. Toe, oh, oyster I, shoots. Honestly, yeah. I think I could really crush it at some grape stomping or like some bubble. What? What's that? One more time. Oh, one oh, more of course, time. Of course. Just, Get up a little closer. Yeah, a little bit closer like this. Ready? Okay, here's my okay. foot. Yeah? All right, ready? Can you see it? Okay, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure. <gasps> Close. Up a little more. Closer, yeah. Okay, ready? No, get your oh. foot up to oh, the like, camera. Oh, to the camera. Like wow, look at that leg. There you go. Yeah, oh my God. Okay, hold yeah. on. Here it comes, kids. Yes. Hold on. What do you think? Okay, like pull foot. back a little bit so like we can that. see it. Oh, look at oh. all. Oh, that that's good. a good foot, right? And look oh. at the arch. That was a arch. very happy. Okay, now they're pulling back a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Flex them. Yeah. Flex. Them. Oh, look at look Ooh. at how beautifully manicured they are. That is an arch oh. right there. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> there's there's foot fuckers out there all over the world. Fuck look, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tim is nodding his head saying, Tim, "Yeah." Tim, are you a foot guy? Are you I a foot a guy? Me too. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. and I have pretty feet, so. Mm -hmm. Most most yeah. black women do. That is true. Black yeah. has never once cracked, okay, baby? Ever. That part. Yes, <laughs> your feet look amazing. That part, <laughs> yes. Hi, Ivan. Okay. Uh, one more time for Ivan. He wants Ivan, to see you your want to feet. Ivan, you want to see my foot? Yes. yes. Oh my God, Ivan, I'm coming right Ivan. to see you. Ivan. Oi, you're gonna love this. Look at Come the on, feet. Come on, Ivan. Okay, ready? <laughs> Here we go. It's my foot. Do you like it? Can Ivan see it? No. Pull the foot up a little bit more. More? Okay, like up, like this. Like yeah. That? Ivan, do you like the foot? Let's see. Flex it for you. Okay. So you can see her. Yeah. And and show it for Priya. Priya wants to see your Priya? feet. Priya, yeah. Priya, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> Period. Yes. It looks like a gigantic thing because I'm I'm a little in the background. Oh my god! And yeah. And you got like the giant foot. And it's like she's stepping it's, on ah, me. No. I love that. Okay. Wow, Aren't amazing. you surprised that I've run tens of thousands of miles in my lifetime, but my feet are still gorgeous? That's amazing. I know. I, yeah. yeah. I take really good care of my feet. Because I walk down to the gym and my feet just look like they're all. Oh, really... you got gargoyles. What, what do you got you talons? Do? Yeah. So I yeah. always get a gel pedicure. Gel pedicure. And I always, my normal colors, like I'll rotate between white and red, and sometimes I'll do mint green. I love a mint green. Do you though. do that sugar rub? Because Misty Stone <laughs> used to tell me yes. that was the secret to her. Guys, doesn't Misty Stone have the softest skin? Because she does yeah. uh, that sugar scrub. Oh, the exfoliation. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course I do. And then she oils herself up. But that's mm -hmm. sometimes she's a little late for things. And that's because she goes through this whole routine of like oiling up the whole body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's like a, a, a sardine in a can. She, yeah, she's you know? like a she dolphin. Comes out of oil. I have now, one more question to ask you. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, so does she have, do you have an X account? Oh, I do, actually. Yes. Yes, we have to say X instead of oh, Twitter. Oh, we do have to say yeah. X. Yes, so my X account is my name. So you can find me at Addis Fouché. So A-D-D-I-S, and then my last name, F as in Frank, O-U-C-H-E. I think we have this on a lower third right now, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. We got that on there? Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. It's not live today, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, great. Okay, cool. So you can find me there on X and also on Instagram and also there on TikTok. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks for calling in tonight, Jason. Thank you, James. Hope you both have an amazing night. Yes. Okay. Thank you. But yeah. So I had that right. team POVR come out, yeah. and then also yeah. another one with Team Skeet. That's the one that has like a little bit of anal play and plus a cream pie. Okay. So Ooh, and then again exciting. to translate for um, all of you people out there that may not know what the fuck we're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of anal play means mm -hmm. that she puts a butt plug mm -hmm. in her rear end, mm -hmm. and then the guy goes into the vagina. Yes, and it was a pretty big butt plug too. Oh, is it now? Yeah, it was pretty big. It was like. Well, you see that glass thing? How about that? Yeah, it was like a little bit Look, smaller. Go than over that. there and grab that. Grab it. That is a glass dildo. It's made by my friend Scott. It's beautiful. And mm -hmm. he makes this beautiful glassware, mm -hmm. but that is a glass dildo. Oh, that's nice. But you could use it as a butt plug. Ooh, yes, you can. Or use if it as a base. Now I've seen Priya Rai mm -hmm. take these and break the glass because no. she has a pussy made of adamantium. Oh my god! So she's like, ah, wow, that's everything. scary. No, but seriously though, huh? would this be too much for a butt? I think, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know what? If I, I honestly might be, like, nervous that this would get stuck inside me. What? Because the, the base is... Does like, your butt get that big that would swallow it up? No, it's because the base isn't that full. Oh. It's like the base isn't that flared, so it might actually get sucked up just because it's, like, one tube. And like, in terms of the length, okay, so oh, yeah. Okay, so helpful tip from Addis mm -hmm. is when you're buying a butt plug, make sure the end of it is wide enough that it doesn't suck up in yes. your ass. Yes, if it looks kind of like a T-shape, it's perfect. Because this, usually with, like, an anal flare, I want it to flare out a little bit more. So mm -hmm. that, like, any direction it flips in, it doesn't matter. It won't get stuck in my See, butt. See, I think that that's perfect advice. Yes. Because there's a lot of young ladies out there that might want to try this at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they need to know that they have to, the the end has to be really, really wide. Oh, yes. I have a whole routine with anal, a whole routine in mm -hmm. terms of like, you know, getting ready for it. So I will usually. Well, what do you do? So I will get the fleet enema and I will like pour out the saline because you don't want the saline. Fleet? In. Fleet. Like, the like brand. The, like the fleet is in? The naval mm -hmm. fleet exactly. is in? Exactly. F-L-E-E-T. Fleet. No, that's a different fleet. 
No, yeah, but that's how it's No, you didn't hear what I said. I said the naval fleet is in. Oh. So it doesn't mean like there's a lot of sa sailors in there. I mean, I wish. But there's a lot of seamen in yeah. there. Hey! hey! <laughs> okay, anyway, so, going on. I yeah. get the fleet enema, pour out the saline, usually in a solo cup, because you don't want the saline in your butt, because you will start to have insane diarrhea. You don't want the saline in Jesus it. Jesus Christ, you're knowledgeable. Yes, so I wow. you want little bits of the saline in the water when you're douching, because otherwise the electrolyte imbalance in your asshole can get really, really off. Right? Well, can't you just pour Gatorade in there? I, I wish. I'm sure. Like, like, oh, like, kind of like when a football team like wins the match, you're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> like that. So I usually will like put on a podcast, like a bunch of YouTube videos, and then I put the water in and like a little bit of saline, squeeze it up my butthole, and I will also have like a little bit of lube next to me just to like lube up the little nozzle. It comes pre-lubed, but like as you're doing it, the lube comes off, right? Eventually. So mm -hmm. you put it up, you squeeze it, hold it for like 10 seconds, and then push it out. And when it runs clear three times in a row, you're done. If it runs clear one, two, and then not the third time, Start over. You are not clean yet. Are you taking notes? Right. Two doesn't count. There'll be a quiz later. Don't, right, exactly. Don't slack off on this. And then after that, sit on the toilet. I prefer to do it on the toilet and wait for 10 to 15 minutes because sometimes random water comes out later. Now, I've had a lot of girls mm -hmm. over the 16 years we've been on the air okay. saying that they a lot of times they will starve themselves before a scene mm -hmm. if they have to do anal. Is that true? I mean, the thing is... During the morning, I probably wouldn't eat, but it's right before I go up and do the scene, eat something because you don't want to like be passing out. But right also, before, right before, because think about it, it's not going to go from your digestive, like all the way from your esophagus, and digest and turn into poop in the one and a half hours that you're shooting. Well, it's thank gonna be in you, your stomach. doctor. It's gonna be in your stomach. So literally clean out in the morning, then, you know, sign all your paperwork, show your IDs, do your, you know, your Mickey Mouse ears, whatever they call them. Rabbit uh, ears. Thank oh, you. Like, yeah, right, yeah, right. Why yeah. am I forgetting the name? And then, you know, eat your sandwich or whatever, and then go shoot. You're good. What do you like to eat before sex? Um, I actually, my, my classic anal meal is, um, is a whole pack of prosciutto and a blue Gatorade. We need your protein, babes. <laughs> I love how she's describing this because it almost sounds like she's doing a commercial for Healthy Choice or no, something. Right? Like that. Don't forget to get Addis's frozen pre anal <laughs> TV dinner. Oh my here. God. It comes with a peach pie mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> some corn. I like a little salad, <laughs> a super salad. Um, yeah, so that's my, and then also this is how I know when I'm ready for like a dick in my ass. Ready? I'll tell you. Yeah, please. So I usually like to Thank be. Thank God we're not on the Hallmark Channel Ooh, anymore. Right, yeah. or yeah. Lifetime. Oh, yeah. dear God. <laughs> so I, I will ask somebody to like finger me with one finger. When one finger starts to feel boring and I start to like lose focus and get distracted and get bored, two fingers. Keep it interesting, right? Then what's what, you do your taxes or something? <laughs> no. Let I, me know when you're done. <laughs> I start wrapping. I'm Nicki Minaj lyrics in my head. I'm like, oh my god. No, have you really? Yeah, I, I, I actually was on Static Selecta's show and I rapped all of Moment for Life without even the lyrics. They just had the beat. And they're like, can you do it? And then they brought it back in, the lyrics, and I was right on, right on pace. Oh my Don't god. Don't worry about me and who I fire. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I call the shots. I am the umpire. I sprinkle holy water upon the vampire. I'm saying. I love it. Hi, yeah, isn't so, that great? So once I start wrapping Nicki Minaj in my head, put another finger in my asshole, pretty much. Then right. once two starts to feel boring and I start to go back into Minaj mode, put a third, and then that's when I know I'm ready for a dick because this is pretty dick-sized, right? Or put a Mini Cooper up there. Yeah, right. See what happens. You can drive a U-Haul up my asshole, yeah. right? Ooh. Um, and then, so then I there's this thing called anal ease, which is like a slight numbing agent because like, I will put it around the base of the asshole. Well, you could try some of this at liquid too. You could, put, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. And then so like once like like you know the dude is like getting ready, putting the condom on or like prepping himself for the anal, I'll put a little tiny bit of the anal ease right here, just like at the entrance, because sometimes like even though I've done so much anal, like I like a little get Baba nervous. Ganesh on a cracker. Right, just just, just yeah. a little bit of cilantro on the yeah. top uh, and then you know then I'm ready and then you know they push it in no such thing as too much lube with anal guys no such thing really I don't think there's too much no 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 such thing as too much lube. I think that's important to mm -hmm. make a note there for that mm -hmm. although the first time I did do it I actually was super drunk and I didn't even do it with anal I think I was just like so relaxed Hmm. But it was really fun. And I used to keep... Well, you folks remember that. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Woo! Yeah, get your so, assholes prepped. Yeah. Get your emodium. <laughs> oh! <laughs> stick your blarney stone up there. Yeah. Can you ask me fucking a leprechaun in the ass? Oh. Can you imagine? That'd be a really good porn. I'd watch it. You should make that scene. Yeah, are there any leprechauns who are watching... <laughs> Who <laughs> want to make a point? Yeah. Ring, <laughs> ring, and a call. And we got a call from Dublin, Ireland. Oh, my God. Oh, you 
your sexy little thing, yo. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I, I did just have sex with Try me shillelagh. Oh, no, please. Shut up. Suck my lucky charms. So <laughs> magically delicious. <laughs> All right, let's break away for a commercial. We come back. We have got the lovely, talented Addis here with us tonight, and we're taking your phone calls and what you must watch from our friends at the mall.sexy. All of that coming up right after this. Thank you. If you like your cartoons, comics, animated porn, and games that are hot, raw, and uncensored, check out dukes.com. That's dukes with a Z. They have the sexiest erotic stories featuring curvy milfs, busty teens, and well-hung studs ready to give them every thick inch. There's superhero porn, horror and suspense porn, monster porn, and horny housewives. With hundreds of videos and thousands of comics, you'll be guaranteed to have a good time. And coming this summer, Dukes.com will be adding some hardcore VR animated porn onto the site as well. So check out Dukes.com. You won't be disappointed. Happy holidays from Dukes Dolls. We're having a special sale for the holiday season. For the months of December to January, when you type the promo code in HOLIDAY2023, that's HOLIDAY2023, we will automatically get you $100 off the price of any medium or large product on the website. That's www.dukesdolls.com. Come and get a very special gift for a very special someone or yourself. We won't care if you don't. So come and get the best pleasure toys around and only at Duke's Dolls. That's dolls with a Z, baby. Happy holidays. Bye for now. <laughs> if you like me, your lovely Misty Stone, Emily Willis, Kenzie Reeves, Gabby Carter, Abella Danger, Tina K, Sybil, Erica Lauren, Candace Dare, or Purple Bitch, Go to the mall.sexy, click channels number two, and scroll down to whatever you like, baby. Or check out our news. Keep up with what's happening, like inside the industry and much, much more. All you want is at the mall.sexy. Remember that site and visit them today and every fucking day. The mall.sexy. The Mall.Sexy is the newest porn center, and you can find all that you're looking for there. Shop the stores and check out the theaters. Everybody is on there, even me, the lovely Misty Stone. Just click on the channel 2 at the top, and all of my social media connections are on there too, baby. And one of the real reasons that I'm talking about The Mall.Sexy is The Mall.Sexy now has... The new Vixen Media Group series, Milfy. Plus, Blacked, Blacked Raw, Tushy, Tushy Raw, Deeper, starring that sexy redhead, Maitland Ward, and Slate. Go to the mall.sexy and join today, and all of the links are there on the homepage. 24 hours a day, the mall has it all. The mall.sexy. Hi, welcome back. It's Inside the Industry with James Bartolet. And my lovely guest tonight is an Addis Foch. Hi. Here with us. <laughs> and we want to welcome new sponsors on the show. Shivers. They're not only for the guys, but they're also for the girls. Mm. These are male and female enhancement gummies. Ooh, that's sexy. So I am going to give you the female one here <gasps> oh for you God. to take home. Thank okay. you. So you have two little gummies in there and you pop them in and you chew them and it helps enhance your mind mm -hmm. and your mood and gets you 
in the spirit, mm -hmm. so to say, yeah. to go and have sex. Oh, great. I mean, I'm going to have sex immediately after this, so I'm really glad. That Are you? you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. Yeah, there's a really cute boy that I was hanging out with all day today before I got here. Uh -huh. And so I'm going to go hang out with him again. We're going to okay. bang. It's going to be fun. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That'll be good. It'll be really good. Thank you. That'll be good. And then, of course, if you mm -hmm. need some lube here try Sliquid, another new sponsor we've got now Sliquid, and also duke's hardcore honeys and the mall dot sexy and speaking of the mall dot sexy we have what you must watch this is a listing of what you can watch when you go to the website the mall dot sexy. And remember, the mall dot sexy isn't just a shopping mall because you can buy things there. But there's also profiles on adult film stars. And there's also a lot of movies that you could watch in demand on the site. Now, here's a recommended list of some movies you could check out this week when you, that's right, you go to the mall dot sexy. Uh, that sitcom show, Volume 9, it is a parody and it stars Casey Calvert Ooh. and Elsa Ibera and my buddy Jillian Jansen. Also, Perv Therapy 3 with Athena Anderson, who's been on the show many times, Christy Love and Fiona Sprouts. And then Transfixed, Playing the Part with Charlotte Sins, Lydia Black, and Nadia Buns. And the career perspective this week is on Jen Padova. Mm -hmm. If you guys remember back in the day, uh, Jen uh, P Padova was one of those girls that didn't look like your typical porn star. She looked like the little gal next door, the girl that was working in the, uh, the, the dairy freeze. Oh. But she was, when that camera light went on, whoa, was she a powerhouse. She was really an incredible, incredible performer. Um, you can check out um, some of her movies. They include Jungle Love 3 with Aspen Stevens, Jen Padova, and Jane Silver. White Trash Whore 28 with Crystal Ray, Jen Padova, and Byron Long. And finally, Kiss Ass Chicks 26, Jen Padova, with Jen Padova, Carlton Banks, and check out this porn name. I haven't heard this guy's name in forever, but it was one of the most unique porn names. Arnold Schwarzenpecker. Whoa. I got to meet him. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he's long retired now, but yeah. Okay. So all of this and a lot more you can check out at the mall. Dot sexy. Now, we've opened up the phone lines now, so you could call in and talk to Addis and myself. Phone number is 310, no, excuse me, 818-231-2580. Is that correct, guys? Sounds right, yep. Yeah. Sounds right? I don't have it written down. Well, put down the bong and tell me, is that right? 818-231-2580. <laughs> Okay, yes, thank you. That is right. That is the right number. We'd love to hear from some um, fans that haven't called in before and a long-time listener or, wa or viewer and uh, call in. And then don't forget to enter the contests so you can get a chance to win a free ticket to go to the Exotica Expo April 12th, 13th, and 14th uh, right into Inside Contest at gmail.com. Then you can also enter the contest to go to the, um, we're giving away one ticket to go to um, the XRCO on May 5th in Hollywood, right into InsideContest at gmail.com. Now, Addis, I understand that you are going to be at Exotica. Yes, I am. Exotica, Chicago. I'll be there. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not sure yet what booth you're in. Let's see if Let's I see. got a response. Okay. Um, no, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. But I do know that I'll be um, signing with September Rain at some point with her butterfly gang. Group. That's my girl. Oh, that's my girl. Stop. That's my girl. That's oh, our girl. No, 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 no. That's originally my girl. Ah, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to fight for her. 
Yeah. I'll fight her. I'll fight for her. But so I'm signing with her for a bit, and then you yeah. know I'm open to signing at any other booths. So. Well, we'll have you come by the inside booth. Oh of my course. god, amazing! Yeah. I'll be there. Cool. Now we just found out today that uh, Jenna Jameson is coming out of retirement. She's <gasps> going to be signing for one day, one day only on that Saturday. Whoa! So on the 13th, um, Jenna Jameson's going to be there signing all day long. Mm -hmm. Now. One thing that we need to tell them, Addis, mm -hmm. is proper etiquette mm -hmm. for fans when they're coming there. We yes. can't reiterate this enough. Mm -hmm. Ask before you touch anyone, even if it seems innocuous, even if it seems like the most harmless thing or something that's not on your mind, always ask because you never know. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's, you know, some guy will put up a picture where he's grabbing the girl's tit. Well, that was okay back in the day. That kind of stuff really doesn't fly anymore mm -hmm. now. They're oh, and very also, politically correct. And you should definitely tip your um, your models and your stars for taking photos with them because that is like our time. And Please. And we are making the time to engage with you and be genuine and mm -hmm. you know pick you to talk to over all the other people who may be trying to get our attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then that's a really, really important thing. We are, um, there's a, misconception out there that we're all multimillionaires. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, if we were multimillionaires, we wouldn't have time to go to fan shows because we would be sitting on the South Beach and uh, drinking cocktails with Selena Gomez. Literally. You know? We'd be uh, eating bricks yeah. of gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Um, we are there to meet you fans and also to make some money. So please be kind, please support the industry and please remember to tip. I see a lot of guys do that little drive-by picture thing with their cell phone and they try to take a picture of the girl and they walk by and we're like, no, no, you just snapped a picture. You gotta come back and put something down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the table, come on. It's really weird, it's really weird. Or when they just like stand there and stare at you. If you're gonna stand there, you can come up to me and talk to me, but it makes me feel very uncomfortable when you stand mm -hmm. there and stare and don't say anything. Yeah, and playing pocket pool while you're doing that, too. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Now, another thing mm -hmm. important I think we should tell them, too, is just remember hygiene is really important. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Brush your teeth, scrape Brush your, your teeth, tongue, deodorant. deodorant. Come mm -hmm. on, come on. Yeah. And also, final thing we should say mm -hmm. is keep your life stories down to a minimum. Mm. If you turn around and you see like somebody like our dear friend uh, Angela White, she has a line that starts in like Seattle and works across the United States to Chicago. Literally. Yeah. Um, so there isn't a lot of time. So when you start going in these antidotes about how you still live in your parents' garage and you masturbate to her all day long or him or whoever, um, keep your stories to a minimum because mm -hmm. there's a line of people behind you that have been waiting patiently to get an autograph mm -hmm. and to take a picture and yes. stuff like that. And we're happy to listen to you. It's not like we're assholes and we don't want to listen to you, mm -hmm. but it's like, Yes, but it's just make sure there's to be fair to everyone's time, including the model. Mm -hmm. I would also say, too, if there's something that you really want to tell us, but there's no time, I'm sure you can figure out a way to DM or email in a respectful way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you do XBiz and, and or AVN in January? I actually did both, and I was in the AVN campaign. So I was, um, ah, yes. Ah, that's right. Yes. Do you want to see a photo? <coughs> Oh, yeah. I looked I looked phenomenal in this. Okay. Like it was it was actually just such an incredible shoot and I feel really grateful. You but were that, in that's the, me. Oh my stars. Ah, that's right. That's me. Yeah. Wow. So I was the newest newcomer on stage, um, you know, you know, or on social I should say, and on the billboards, on the taxi wraps and everything. So it was really incredible to be, you know, in now, this campaign with all these people. That's something that I wanted to ask you about yes. because what is that feeling when you finally get out there to Vegas? Mm -hmm. And you're going from the airport into the hotel. Yes. Yeah, the, the um, uh, resort world. Mm -hmm. And you're looking out the window from the cab, and you're like, <laughs> oh my God, 
there I am up on the billboard. Yeah, yeah, it's honestly, it's really overwhelming. I, but not honestly as overwhelming as meeting a lot of my fans in real life for the first time. That was the first time that did I... Did you take a picture in front of your big billboard up of there? Of course I did. And, and I actually oh. had, people, I had people text me and be like, I see oh, you. I yeah. <laughs> or even like people who texted me and they saw me on like the top of a taxi or something. It was so incredible. And I had fans coming up to me so much and it was not overwhelming in a bad way. It was just like, wow, like these are real people whose real lives that I affect in a real way. And that was just but really, But this really isn't so the pinnacle of your career. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was just like, we're just getting started. That's what I'm saying. That's why. I'm That's pissed. how I felt. I was like, oh, wow, this is real. Like, we're off to the races. So what's next? Well, you know what's funny is actually what? someone at AVN came up to me and they recognized me not from porn, but from my series that I do at Soho House. So I have a series. Soho House. Yes. So okay. I have a series with Soho House in New York City that's called The Lust Files. Yes. And I do an event there every other month where um, we partner with um, other brands and panelists and we talk about things like sex in a very elevated and fun way. So it's not overly instructional, it's not about trauma, and it's not like, you know, slapstick comedy. We really do try to have such a great experience. Where do you see this? Um, I see the less files, like where can you go? Yeah, to see this. Yes, you can go to Ludlow House in New York City, which is one of the Soho House locations. But, I mean, is this videotaped? Oh, so it's all live event. We do photographs. We, do, we have gift bags for everything. And then we are also launching a podcast called The Less Files so that people can come in. Okay, and so it hasn't, it hasn't been televised yet. It hasn't been televised yet. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is a live event. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there in, in the beautiful city of Soho. Yes. And Soho <laughs> is beautiful. Yes. Um, you go there and you pay admission to go into this event? Well, so it's actually how free. How does it work? We have it set up as Get free. Get the fuck out. But we have limited spaces, so Soho House members... So how do you make money? Oh, Soho House actually contracts us to make money. We also have sponsors. All the gifts and everything, everything is sponsored. So somebody's got to make money on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Literally, these brands are like, please, we want to be involved. We will literally pay you and oh, give you free merch. Oh, yes. I feel you. Mm -hmm. So this is like a product placement for them. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so we've oh. had things like we our, our last event was all about BDSM and kink, and we had two doms and one of their subs on stage with us answering questions and talking about the BDSM community. And we gave out bondage tape, we gave out CBD lube, we gave out like you know um, suppositories for post sex. We gave. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen those Korean sheet masks? Yeah, there yeah, was, yeah. There are some for your vagina, and they're shaped as a tell, triangle. Tell the folks out there what that is, though, real quick. Oh, Korean sheet mask. It's like it looks like you have a piece of paper with eye holes and mouth holes cut out. Like, like those ones that you could buy at Ross. Yes, exactly. For the sheet, and then you put it on your yeah. face, and then you peel it off. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So like, but those for your vagina for post sex, and like it's a triangle. So we'll do stuff like that, and like those. So there's the opening, so your vagina can breathe. Oh, it's literally just a triangle, and you just pop it right on top of her. And it just cools her off. Mm -hmm. Cools her off. If they're, you know, can put it post wax, postpartum, post play. It's very cute. That's an important thing too, because mm -hmm. after they get like a, a Brazilian or mm -hmm. something done. Oh yeah, she's yeah, sensitive. Yeah. So you know, we have all this kind of stuff in our gift bags, and we give them away. But we have about mm -hmm. seventy to eighty spots, so yeah. Soho House members can sign up on the app. And we can list a certain number of non-members. I think it's like fifty maximum or forty. Okay. So yeah. I had a fan who um, texted me this afternoon and he had a question that he wanted to ask yes, you. Yes, please. Um, I believe the guy's name was Paul. Okay. And he was writing in from um, Charleston. Okay. Hi, Paul. And uh, he wanted to know, have your tattoos or piercings gotten in the way of you working? An adult. No, casting. actually, because I don't have that many. You know, especially tattoos. Like I have the tiny one on my foot, and then yeah. I have the other tiny one on my back. So, and but I. But you have piercing in your nose. Yeah, I think because it's all honestly. And your nipples are done. My nipples are pierced. Yes. Yeah. So they haven't really gotten in the way. I just think at this point, if I want to keep doing the roles that I'm doing, I probably shouldn't get any more. But you know, that's kind of what I feel. But I mean, there has been no road. There has been no walls so. that you've hit. No, because not really. Of that. And I honestly, be, it's like you already know what I look like. So if you're disappointed that I have like you know red hair or a nose ring or a tattoo on my back that's kind of on you okay and paul also wanted to know yes, who's paul. paul right yeah Absolutely. paul also wanted to know do you have to have a tattoo to be in porn no, no. oh my god no there's so <laughs> many people who don't have tattoos like right oh my goodness wow but it seems like there's a lot of these this new generation of performers that mm -hmm. are coming in and they've got 
at least one or two tattoos yes. on him. So I think a civilian person who's watching porn is thinking like, I might want to do this, I might want to do a sex tape. Mm -hmm. Do I have to get a tattoo to do porn? Oh, absolutely not. No, 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 no. No. Mm -mm. No. I you think just that's important. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's really true. Mm -hmm. Because porn is all different types, mm -hmm. all different uh, backgrounds. Yes. Everything. Right, exactly. You have girls who are like as teeny tiny as Molly Little, and then girls who are, you know, BBWs like Jaden Stone, and then people who oh are like God, me who are yeah. neither. Yeah. And those girls are, I love both of them, and they're actually both signed to Hussy with me. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that little Molly Little. What a doll. Oh, she's amazing. We actually have stayed together at a model house before. Me, her, and Madison Wild and Baby Star. It was a great time. And Madison Wild. And Baby Star. It was so fun, the four of us. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you guys do content together? We actually, so me, Molly Little, and Madison Wild shot a scene with Jimmy Michaels for Team Ski, and that has like maybe two million on Pornhub now. It was so what good. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene is wild. You're making that number up. No, I'm not. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. And it randomly started going viral again like a couple months ago. We shot it maybe in a, a year ago. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like less than a year old, that scene. I've yeah. seen that scene. Yeah, yeah. It literally but is it's two million a new now. Two million, not even one million, two. That one now has more views than my net video. Girl why scene. do you think it's? Why do you think that's it's 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 gotten those many views? What what do you, what do you think? I mean, obviously sure. we know why. Right, right, right. I but mean, also you're I drop dead gorgeous. I mean, but those all, girls are drop dead gorgeous. Yes, I think it's because we all look so different and we're drop dead gorgeous and the chemistry is right. I you took the words right out that's of my mouth. I was just gonna mm -hmm. say it's the chemistry. Yeah. This is so important, and I think you folks at home will agree on this. Mm -hmm. The porn that you've really enjoyed the most mm -hmm. has. been been the one where you have seen a chemistry mm -hmm. between those two people. Yeah, yeah. Because you're going to get more into that and more turned on and aroused mm -hmm. and motivated by watching two people enjoying themselves yes. instead of two people that look like two cows in a in a field chewing oh on grass or I something. Saw it, I actually shot content yesterday, and I had both of those things happen. My first content what? scene, I shot with Andre Stone. Insane chemistry. Insane chemistry. Like, okay. I'm like, I swallowed his cum. We fucked so hard that the bed moved into the center of the room. It was no so... No Oh, you can see it on camera, like, inch forward. It's insane. Oh, I'm excited to hear yeah. about that. And okay. then I shot another content scene, and it wasn't that great, because the, the chemistry wasn't there. I'm going to say it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, was this right after, right after, or? I mean, yeah, but I hadn't shot in a bit, so it didn't really matter that it was two okay, in the so day. so you had a time to rest. Yeah, a time to rest, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's very few performers that could knock out, like, three or four scenes a day. Mm-hmm. I, I did but two mainstream scenes in a day once. That was a really long day. It was yeah. a really long day, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Never mainstream doing, like, acting. Mainstream porn. So, like, mainstream as in, like, porn. you're in the hair and makeup, you're doing your bunny ears, you're signing the paperwork, do the scene, do the post. Mm -hmm. Then I had a break. Then I did it again. Yeah. That was a long day. Isaiah Maxwell, he does, mm -hmm. like, three, four scenes a day. He does. He does. He's, yeah. We've worked together twice, actually. Those yeah. scenes are... He's a great yes. guy. I love that kid. Yes. And so proud of him for winning the award there at ABM. Seriously. Yeah. He is well-deserved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, this mm -hmm. is... Absolutely amazing because when you physically think about going from one location to the next, mm -hmm. you're going to hit traffic and stuff. Yes. So, I mean, you literally must start at like 5.30 in the morning and then end at mm -hmm. maybe 2 the next day. Yeah, literally. You have to. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is the longest, Addis, you've ever been on a set? The longest? Well, so that... So that double day was actually on the same set. We just shot it in two separate parts of the right, house. So right. I must have gotten there at like... 8 a.m. and I left at 11 p.m. I could be between. Yeah, tell me. Well, give it to me. I've been on one set that was 28 hours. 28 long. hours? What are you doing for 28 hours? Fucking. Fucking. You're just sit, you're resting. You're yeah. reading your lines. You're Whoa. getting ready. What do you need for 20, your next What stuff? do you need 28 hours for? The uh, the directors mm -hmm. wanted to think. They were thinking that they were going to save money. But um. they didn't realize that the studio said, you're in the next day, so we're charging you now for two days. Uh. They were thinking that they were going to get a one-day charge. Oh, whoa. And they took up the entire studio. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a great movie. Mm -hmm. It was one of our, you know, parodies we did back then. Great. Then there was another one that we did at another soundstage, and that was 32 hours. Whoa. And I remember... 32 hours, guys. 
That's like a, that's what you do with like an open heart surgery. Yeah. Oh my God. And we were coming out and it was me and Sunny Lane and uh, the late Shyla Styles, and we were coming out of the studio, getting ready to get in our cars and, you know, we were exhausted and getting to drive home and turn on the radio. Just, just then, Michael Jackson has died. <gasps> Whoa. That was the morning that, was the that, that, that Michael died. Whoa. So we were like in shock. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I was in New York and my grandpa called me. He was like, Michael Jackson died. And I was like, Grandpa, like, this is not a funny prank. Like, I thought he was like prank calling me. I was like, yeah. there's just no way. And he was like, no, turn on the TV. My grandpa and I never really talked that much. So I was like, oh, he must be serious. And he was. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, for all the things now that have been said after he has passed. Mm -hmm. The one thing you do have to remember is he was a consummate entertainer. Absolutely. And he mm -hmm. was an inspiration for millions and millions of mm -hmm. performers to come after him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and he really entertained a, a not one generation, but three generations. Oh yes. Of people, mm -hmm. and still does. Mm -hmm. And his music get stuck in your head it does it does you i used know? to play uh, guitar hero they they had his songs on guitar hero and yeah. i was so good at those <laughs> well they got his show mm -hmm. they've got a musical of him no way that's been on broadway i don't even know and that stuff yeah the one tony and we stuff. should go see it yeah well you're in new york yeah, yeah. you let me know i'm gonna come out there for a, a trip there and okay. go midtown uh, uh, i'm in when I come out there, I'll stay at my place in Midtown. Where are you? I live in Williamsburg. Williamsburg? Yeah, I'm hip. I'm cool. I'm young. <laughs> That's a safe neighborhood. Yeah, though. I, lo I love yeah. Williamsburg. It's super cool. Because yeah. there's been some scary things going on in the subway and stuff. Oh, there. no. My area is chill. My area yeah. is fine. Yeah, I, don't, I'm never, I never feel unsafe in my neighborhood. And I run outside at all times. So. See, now that's another dangerous thing, too, mm -hmm. because you hear about... A girl that's going for mm -hmm. a jog or running, and she gets attacked by somebody. Well, see, I've been running happened. since I was 12, so I know exactly what to do. I have, like, certain neon clothes. I have, like, a neon, like, you know those uh, vests that the crossing guards wear? Kind of yeah. like that. So they're reflective. So do I, you have, like, spray? Like, um, a mace? pepper spray yep. or mace? And I also have... Um, so a, you run with that? Yeah, you can just clip it on, and then just... How do you do that again? <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I thought you were pulling your nipple out. No, I, you like, I usually clip it to here. I'll lactate on you. No, I usually clip it here so that like I don't accidentally like bang it while I'm running, yeah. you know? Right. Um, and then I also have like certain like little clips that, that like reflect, they're like kind of the bicycle like reflectors. What do you listen to when you run? Oh, I love like live sets of like DJ. So I love like Diplo live sets, like Major Lazer live sets, because then I don't have Is to change like the song. Is that like house music? It's like the live audio of their concerts. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. I listen to that because, like, then I feel like I'm, like, at the concert, but I'm also running. And then you don't have to change the songs because they just change naturally through the set. Interesting. Yeah, but if I'm lifting, though, I listen to, like, just straight rap. And you lift, too? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I have a personal trainer. Is there anything that you don't do? Do you cook? No. And I don't drive. And ah. I don't do math. <laughs> you don't drive? I don't know how to drive. How did you get here? Did you Uber. walk in we went the to rain? An Uber. Oh, okay. Good. I actually, because I'm a New Yorker and I went to boarding school, and then I, all my friends in college had cars, and I moved back to New York, and then pretty much I just Uber or take the subway or walk everywhere. I do not take the bus and I do not city bike because why would I arrive anywhere sweaty? Oh, God, yeah. Right? Who's sitting, why are you city biking to an event? I've seen this. I, I tried the city bike. Mm -hmm. City bike uh, downtown LA. Yeah. Tried the city bike out there in New York, okay. and it was just. I mean, they're in disarray. No, it's they it's need to terrible. spend money to tighten up the the wheels and seats and the handlebars. Agreed. And agreed. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. And also too, I'm just like, you need a helmet, but like, would I want a helmet? The rain. Yeah. Like, would I want a helmet that like somebody else has worn? No, I wouldn't want that. Yeah. No. So, yes, I do not I mean, I don't that. think we can get an STD off that, but you never know. But what about lice? What? Lice. Yeah, lice. lice. Oh, my God. You could get lice off a bicycle seat? Helmet. Yeah. Helmet. Oh, fuck. I, ooh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. There's no helmets. Like, if they sponsored shit. helmets, would I want them? No, I wouldn't want that. Oh, God, no. no. Lice. They get all in your weave? No, yeah, no. Yeah, no, we don't no. want that. Oh, mm -hmm. no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. Okay. All right, on that note, we're going to go to a commercial <laughs> from our new sponsors, Get Rid of Lice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to be back with a lot more right after this. See ya. If you like your cartoons, comics, animated porn, and games that are hot, raw, and uncensored, 
check out dukes.com. That's dukes with a Z. They have the sexiest erotic stories featuring curvy milfs, busty teens, and well-hung studs ready to give them every thick inch. There's superhero porn, horror and suspense porn, monster porn, and horny housewives. With hundreds of videos and thousands of comics, you'll be guaranteed to have a good time. And coming this summer, Dukes.com will be adding some hardcore VR animated porn onto the site as well. So, check out Dukes.com. You won't be disappointed. Happy holidays from Dukes Dolls. We're having a special sale for the holiday season. For the months of December to January, when you type the promo code in HOLIDAY2023, that's HOLIDAY2023, we will automatically get you $100 off the price of any medium or large product on the website. That's www.dukesdolls.com. Come and get a very special gift for a very special someone or yourself. We won't care if you don't. So come and get the best pleasure toys around and only at Duke's Dolls. That's dolls with a Z, baby. Happy Holidays. <laughs> if you like me, your lovely Misty Stone, Emily Willis, Kenzie Reeves, Gabby Carter, Abella Danger, Tina Kay, Sybil, Erica Lauren, Candace Dare, or Purple Bitch, go to the mall.sexy, click channels number two, and scroll down to whatever you like, baby. Or check out our news. Keep up with what's happening, like inside the industry, and much, much more. All you want is at the mall.sexy. Remember that site and visit them today and every fucking day. The mall.sexy. The Mall.Sexy is the newest porn center, and you can find all that you're looking for there. Shop the stores and check out the theaters. Everybody is on there, even me, the lovely Misty Stone. Just click on the channel 2 at the top, and all of my social media connections are on there too, baby. And one of the real reasons that I'm talking about The Mall.Sexy is The Mall.Sexy now has... The new Vixen Media Group series, Milfy. Plus, Blacked, Blacked Raw, Tushy, Tushy Raw, Deeper, starring that sexy redhead, Maitland Ward, and Slate. Go to the mall.sexy and join today, and all of the links are there on the homepage. 24 hours a day, the mall has it all. The mall. You mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's All right. Really We're looking at some stuff here online. Oh, hey, yeah. it's James Bartolet and my new BFF here, Addis Foge. Hi. Phone number to call in mm -hmm. is eight one eight two three one two five eight zero. And I see uh, Viva Athena is watching us right now. And uh, Viva was on our show last week mm -hmm. with the fetish stuff. Oh. Yeah. So this is a girl who could do fetish with you. Mm, yeah. Would love that. And uh, by the way, uh, Viva, and um, we had the two girls on last week, and their What You Want to Know, where they read the fan mail, is on the TV channel right now. Uh -huh. So if you're watching us on Facebook or listening to us on iHeart, have you watched the 24-hour, 365-day-a-year television channel that I have? Yes. Yours truly, James Bartolet, has a TV channel. You go to Roku TV, you could add it for free, and it has segments like this on there, special segments. Um, we have a brand new uh, segment that's coming up that um, Onyx Muse is going to be um, doing from Las Vegas. We have Patrick Palmer does Patrick Presents. We have Foxy 
who is headlining our special LGBTQ section. Ooh. We have a whole section on our TV channel that is just trans news, gay news, for all the performers on there, which is like really cool. Then we have movie trailers. We have upcoming mainstream and adult movies mm -hmm. trailers that are on there. We have a section where the girls read the fan mail. We have coverage from expos like Exotica, AVN, Xbiz. We have everything is on there. And we're adding on the new Foodie TV. Woo! And that's what you need to watch because you don't cook. I don't yet. cook at all. You know it's crazy? My mom's what? a chef. Get out. My mom used to work with Jean George. She's not only a chef, she is the top of her field. And I can't Whoa. cook for shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yes, she also. Have you tried to cook anything? I, I have. And, it, I, no. and you live alone and you don't know how to cook. Oh, I, I know. I live with my, one of my boarding school friends. I used to live alone, but then I got very bored and very lonely. So I wanted to have No, it okay. I dig it. But when you're at home, you don't. What well, do you I mean, send I can make. Out? No, no. I can make very simple things. But, like, I'm not going like to roast what? a chicken. Like, I can make, like, a really crazily good avocado toast. Or I could make, like, great smoothies. I can make a salad. I can grill some chicken. I can do some roasted vegetables. Like, we're not okay. doing anything much more complicated than that. You can do some eggs. Oh, there's so much stuff you could do. Like, you cook a big meal on Sunday, and then you save that leftovers, yeah. and that takes care of Monday, Tuesday, But I, Wednesday, I can, like, Thursday. make some, like, really good salmon. I'll, I'll season it real good. But, like, mm -hmm. I'm not making anything super complicated. But it, and it, look, at this is how she does her seasoning. Yes. Like, she's, like, <laughs> a, a this is me rubbing it. This is me rubbing yeah. it in. <laughs> e -e -e. A little, little salt. Mm. And a little, uh, little yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is so cool. Yeah. All right, we're taking your phone calls right now, and that is 818 231 2580. Let's okay. see here. Jeff Brady's saying, oh, yes, of course. <gasps> yes, yes, of course. Hi. Now we have got, hi, Sheila. Um, let's see. Robert Owens wants to know this girl is Addis Foch. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, and Danny in the chat room wanted to know how does she not puke during the blowjob? Okay, you want to answer that question, darling? I can definitely answer Tell that. Tell Danny so, about this. So, um, one thing about giving blowjobs is that your throat has to be very relaxed. And so, this is remember, mm. the throat is a muscle, right? So, sometimes it'll actually sing right before or I'll shout or the I'll The penis rap. is a muscle. Yes, it is. So that's two muscles. Da 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 da. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So okay. I will sometimes I like warm up the throat muscles. Mm -hmm. And then also too the other thing is you just have to remember that it's not going to get stuck. That's what I think the mental block for a lot of people is like, oh my God, this is going really deep. It's going to, like, what's going to happen? Nothing. Especially if it's a thick one. Exactly, exactly. I just shot with yeah. Alex Jones, actually. That's a huge dick. Mm -hmm. I also shot, I did Well, a, I mean, I don't know his penis, but I've heard, mm -hmm. yeah. I shot a um, BBG scene with Brickzilla and Joe Von Jordan for Get Ben Gross. out. Oh, I inc know both of those guys. Oh, that scene was incredible. Incredible. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I took both of them, so... Well, I think you might be nominated for Urban X Award this year. I really hope that I will be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's coming up again, folks, in mm -hmm. August, the Urban X Awards. Uh, we just mm -hmm. announced all of our inductees into the mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to all the inductees. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very happy to announce the Urban X Awards. We have now announced the start of our pre -nom time. So mm -hmm. hint, hint. <gasps> I mean, Addis, Addis let's, let's do it. Pre nom her for best new starlet. I would actually really love that. I think that's, uh, yeah, you, uh, for a year and a half, I think it falls under. Mm -hmm. Guys, a year and a half, that still falls under the, the window for best new starlet, right, guys? I don't know if this will be the yeah, I think yes? so. I feel like okay. it does, yeah. So half my crew says yes, the other half says no. Okay. All so right. we'll, we'll hope for the best. We'll yeah, be okay, good. Mm -hmm. So you could pre-nom okay. this lovely young lady and a lot of other stars mm -hmm. there. Uh, just go to Urban X Awards website and you'll get all the information for there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once again, that phone number is 818 818-231-2580. Did you find out where you're signing that? Let me look. Let's see if Lainey responded. Let's see. Not yet. Look, see, I texted oh, her. God. Uh, maybe Lady. She, maybe, maybe she fell asleep. It is 10 o'clock. Uh, we're 1030 on the East Coast, so maybe she fell asleep. Mm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you when you're coming out here to shoot? Honestly. Do you need a day? 
to get ready? You know, I actually have before just flown and hopped off the plane and immediately brought my suitcases to set. Granted, I was flying from New York to Miami, so the time change wasn't that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, usually I'll come, try to land at night or in the afternoon, chill out for a bit, and then the next day it's off to the races. It's off to take some dick. But sometimes coming from the West Coast out there to the East Coast. Oh, yeah, that's what messes me up. We got the time delay. Yeah, that's what I when I need a day. Misty and I went out there to do a scene, yeah. and we had the orgasm four hours later. Oh, yeah. But um bump. That was a joke. Ah, it's it's a joke. Stop. <laughs> that hey, went, that I'm Addis. I used to be a blonde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. Okay. All right. Yes. But yeah, um, now you're always on time. I've, yes. I've, 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 I did a little back, Good. you know, checking on you. Mm -hmm. Everybody that shot you before has said, not only is she a lovely woman, but she's very professional and very nice on the set. <gasps> oh, thank you. Seriously. Yeah. I'm not making this up. Oh, that's great. And I think that's an important mm -hmm. thing to remember. If you're working for a company or you're doing your own content and you're shooting at home, be a nice person. Mm -hmm. Don't hound them afterwards. Hey, let's get together and go to uh, Cracker Barrel or something. <laughs> you know? Would you Would you take me on a date to Cracker Barrel? <laughs> <laughs> I, Cracker Barrel ain't even around, girl. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. after, <laughs> yeah, right. Tim goes, yeah, I do. <laughs> It's like that, yeah, it's the first thing I think about after I do is the anal cheese is I want about a fucking one pound block of cheddar on yep. a cracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably a fetish right there. It probably is. Yeah, but um, be a nice person when you're on the set. You know, uh, be nice to the crew mm -hmm. too. God. Yeah. I always make sure to ask everyone what their name is. I also, someone noticed that I always do it when I encounter a, a, someone who's working in the hotel or someone who's like a waitress in the restaurant and they asked me why do you always ask everybody what their name is and I said because no one asks them all day that part mm -hmm. you know who's wonderful in that yeah the mainstream superstar singer and actress Gaga ah uh huh Gaga will go around and mm -hmm. meet everybody yes. ahead of time then she remembers your name. Wow. She's, she's one of those kind of people. Mm -hmm. She remembers names mm -hmm. of people. Yes. And then later on the day, oh, blah, 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 uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. And that's like an amazing mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. That's, and, that's and incredible. And you're just sitting there like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So if, you're like that, too. If, if, you know? Yes, absolutely. Honestly, and I never forget faces either. I'll be sitting at a restaurant, and I look at someone, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I, I think I know you. And turns out we worked together when I was in corporate advertising like four years ago. Wow. Yeah, I will always so remember So now I'm going to call you Lady Yaya. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Addy. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be like Jerry Lewis with you going, oh, Heidi, I'm coming. Oh, my God, oh. stop. <laughs> that would actually be a really, really great thing for you to parody. Have you done it? Yes. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah. Incredible. Well, you know, I do those seminars, how to uh, break it into the biz, and okay. we do porn star game night. That will be in Ooh, Chicago at Exotica. Fun. So you're going to have to come up on stage with us and do that. Of course. Okay. <laughs> you're it's on. really fun. Thank you, sir. So remember, yes. Mm -hmm. All you fans out there, uh, we will have a porn star game night. We'll be coming back there to Exotica in Chicago. You, the fans, can come up and play with the adult stars and win cool prizes. Mm -hmm. Like we get all these great prizes from Chatterbait and Loyal Fans mm -hmm. and Slickwood and Very cool. uh, Shivers. We're going to have a lot of these. Ooh. Oh, you're going to love these, by the yeah. way. These are really nice. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. Do I take one or do I take two at a time? What I take one with one? your sexual appetite. Yeah. Because you may be running around like a sex succubus That's afterwards. That's true. I, I Just honestly, like fucking Uber drivers ooh, and stuff. I will run <laughs> through a friend group like the Tomb Raider, okay? The Tomb Raider. Yeah, I'll run through a friend group like the Tomb Raider. I'm so we did a porn of that, but it was called the Womb Raider. Ooh, nice. I like that. So the guy was raiding inside of her vagina. <gasps> I'm raiding your womb. Ooh. That's yeah. spooky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you've seen some of the latest movies that have come out. You know, the Oscars are this weekend. Uh -huh. What do you think of the new crop of movies that we should make a porn parody of and what we shouldn't? Oh, we should not do a Saltburn parody. I think that ship has gone and sailed. Uh, which one? Saltburn. No, no, no. I think we could do a Dune parody. 
a Dune parody, yes. That would be sick. I think that would be good. Oppenheimer, mm. let's not do a porn parody no, of that. Let's I mean, not. what is that? You know what? Have that you pussy seen? is the bomb. Oh, <laughs> stop. You know, yeah. Can you imagine? Or I would imagine, like, you know, maybe the, the bomb is like strapped to a pussy and you have to, like, dissect it. And then he's like, well, now that that's all good and done with, let's fuck. <laughs> yeah? But yeah, no, and, and, and the shot that the guy's ejaculating and you superimpose a mushroom <laughs> cloud coming out of his penis. Oh, that's iconic. Yeah, that's you know what would actually be really good as a what? parody, though? Have, did you see Bottoms with Rachel Seno and A.O. Edibiri? Mm, no. So it's about, like, the girls who, like, start a fight club in their high school. Mm. So fucking good. That would be insane as... Um, well, they did do a parody that just came out two weeks ago yeah? of the Marvels. Ooh, no way. Okay. So now that lights itself up for a lot of stuff. Yes. Oh, my God. With Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. Ms. Marvel, yes. and Lieutenant Marvel or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, That'd yeah. That'd be iconic. I love That'll that. That'll be really cool. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, once again, the Oscars are this weekend, this uh, Sunday night. March 10th over in Hollywood. If you live anywhere in that area, stay home or uh, go to Disneyland or mm -hmm. something that day, you know, because you're not going to be able to get around. All the streets are already starting to get closed and they're getting ready for that. But there's an even bigger thing for everybody in the adult industry to remember the T Awards are this weekend. Yes. It is going to be Sunday, March 10th, and it's going to be over at the Avalon Nightclub on Vine Street right off of Hollywood. So it's just literally a few blocks away mm -hmm. from the Oscars. Now, they're going to uh, start doing pre-parties on this Friday. Saturday night, Foxy is hosting a special Tran dance night at... Um, Jesus Christ, she was supposed to be here tonight and tell me this so I could remember. I, I can't remember the name of the club, but if you go to the T website, T-E-A, which is the Tran Erotic Awards, all of the information will be on that website. So again, congratulations to all the nominees now for the T Awards, a big night yeah. for the adult industry. And we have a big red carpet and we're gonna be down there covering that this Sunday with Foxy. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So a lot of stuff coming up. Next week on our show, uh, Yumi Sin um, will be feeling better. So we're gonna have her on. Uh, we're also going to have, um, Harley, I think it is. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just checking. Harley Hayes, mm. we're going to be having her on. And there's a couple of other girls. If they come into town, they're going to be on with us as well. So I don't want to announce who it is yet. So I don't want you guys to get all excited and you're sitting there with your popcorn and your boy butter and you're <laughs> waiting for the show and then they don't come on. So we will announce that at least by Friday and we will let you know who's going to be on. But I can tell you this, on the, on the last Wednesday of this month, on the 27th, we have got Nicole Doshi and Sylvia Sage. Ooh, that's a good show. Wow, that's a good show. right? <laughs> I just worked with Nicole on this brand new, um, very funny uh, comedy feature I did for Wicked Pictures uh, and Gamma. Um, so it, she is a delight. Mm -hmm. You're going to love her. I know a lot of you guys have been writing in and saying, could you have Nicole on? We're finally going to get her on. A lot of people have been asking, can you have Sylvia back on? We've got Sylvia on. And I know a lot of you want us to bring this girl back on. Yeah. Should we have Addis back on again? I think so. Definitely should. I think we definitely <laughs> should. All right. Anything you want to tell your fans out there? Anything you haven't plugged yet? You want to plug? No, nope, nothing that I haven't plugged yet. I think just you can find me on um, TikTok, on X, and wow. on Instagram at Addis Fouché. Just my name. So A-D-D-I-S-F-O-U-C-H-E. I'll see you there. Mm. And this is another thing to point out. Now, you're doing TikTok. It's not naked or porn no, no. related. It's just regular stuff. Yeah, I actually talk a lot about like my opinions, my life, my experiences, my humor. And so people love that. They do. It really humanizes me. And if you want to go see me busted open, you know where to find that. 
I love the way she says it, busted open. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can follow me at James Bartolet on X, formerly Twitter. Um, Facebook.com, you're probably watching right now, so you know where you're at. Instagram, uh, James Bartolet 9. InsideTheIndustry.net is our website, and it's getting a brand new makeover. And look, right? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of new stuff on there, including foodiestv.com. And so much more, onlyfans.com slash James Bartolet. Mm -hmm. And loyal fans, the same thing. All right? Um, God, it's really been a real pleasure meeting you. I know, I know. Wow, please come back on the show when you come back out to Cali. Oh, yeah, you don't have to beg me. I would gladly come back. Well, you're going to be on with us out there in Chicago, Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Cool. (laughs) And thank you, Ari Parker, for calling in tonight. Um, Till next time, I'm James Bartolet. I'm Addis Fouché. Good night and good sex.